Yeah, you have dark paw on one hand, and then you have uh, the Colts on one hand. It's going to be an interesting summer in Jamaica. And uh, good day, my wonderful people. It's me again, the great, great, one more great countryman. Remember to like, share, or subscribe, and hit your notification button. Country girl, country boss, nuclear rebel, all of the boss there. Now, this video was one of the first video I made when I started this channel. And this was made in April, because I started this vlog, this channel, April 16th, 2021. Now, Dog Paw and the Coke Clan had just gotten out of jail. And from the start of the clip, you hear what my prediction was. Also, I was trying to explain the constitutionality of the cases in Jamaica and how the government went by it. Now fast forward, now it's 2022, Dark Paw is dead, you see what I'm saying? And the issues that I kind of predict came true. So watch this video, like I said, it's an old video that I remastered and dropped in this to speak to y'all. So let's go. Well, today I'm gonna talk about an issue that I see down here in Jamaica where the famous dog paw is released on appeal. And uh, as you know, he is the guy with the famous cursing, the rich cursing. I forgot her name. Her last name, Nita. I'm not too sure. I don't want to spread fake. But that's his baby mother. And she's with some artist guy right now. Giovanni. But Dog Pie is released. And also is the Coke clan. Hold on a sec. I'm going to show you something right now. No. So now, as you see here, the Coke uh, clan free. Murder gang. The case collapsed. They pretty much they bust the case. You understand? So yeah, they bust the case. So you have the Coke clan and the uh, and the uh, reputed and the reputed gangster and the reputed gangster right here. So. I'm going to play some of this from TVJ, so check it out. For Linton, the alleged reputed leader of the Dog Paw Gang had his 2013 conviction overturned in the Court of Appeal today. Linton was convicted along with his co-accused, Micah Allen, and sentenced to 15 years. Our reporter, Giovanni Dennis, is outside the Horizon Adult Remand Center when Linton walked out to a waiting entourage. 5.05 p.m. Wednesday, April 14. One of three waiting vehicles for Christopher Dog Paul Linton. A relative collects personal belongings and discusses traveling arrangements with the reputed gang leader. So there he is, coming out of here, right here, with the team over here. His entourage moved quickly, shutting down the possibility of an interview. How you feel? Dog Hopper gained notoriety when he became Jamaica's most wanted between 2010 and 2011 before he was arrested. He was convicted along with his co-accused Micah Allen in 2013 for shooting with his intent and illegal possession of firearm. Prosecutors argued the men shot at police in April 2010 in St. Andrew. Patrick Peterkin represented Micah Allen at the appeal hearing. 
two police officers and this is his lawyer driving through Tavern Drive Patrick sometime after Peter nine King. in the night they indicated that when they reach at a section of that road that is they Mika were shot by two men in a group of four who ran down a lane after firing shots at, at them no. and the police said that they what? also is were the police officers fired back that's my team amongst the group they said that um they identified Linton as one of the men and um Michael Allen entered an ID parade and he was pointed out that the one of the men. They were each sentenced to 15 years in prison for illegal possession there of firearms and 15 years for shooting with intent. The, the, the defense team's arms argument hinged on how the men were identified, insisting the evidence was unreliable. The appeal court sided with them. You're talking about after nine in the night to be the issue of time as to whether the time and, that they observed yeah, the men. Yeah, and, yeah, and they're also talking about um, the issue of being shot at and police also have to basically be taking certain evasive action in that moment. And um, then the what question is he saying? in all the circumstances, whether or not a safe identification. So no, no, we go over here to the cloak clan. And uh, as you can see, it says right here, cloak clan free, pretty much they boss murder case. Uh, right here, you can see it says a woman celebrate the release of seven persons being charged with relation to a killing of a reputed uh, Pat, uh, gang boss, Patrick Davis. Okay, it goes on to say, Thursday release of three high-profile members of the notorious Coke family and four others on murder gang-related charges serve as a blow to law enforcement. This right here is the key thing. There were cheers. There were cheers, tears, shouts of freedom greeted the seven who conditionally free because their prosecution did not have a smoking gun at press time. The police said it was difficult to locate the two main witnesses. <laughs> wow. The police had difficulty locating the two main witnesses. Ah. Uh, wow. I don't know what to say about that, but uh let me take a drink off my damn beer, yeah, man. Yes, folks, remember like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. But this right here is very interesting. Because, as you can see right here, that's what it's saying up here. No, the seven release was Andrew Coke. Lester Coke and Michael Coke. David Biggs, Del Marco, Chipas, Wayne Page, and Leisha Jones. So Justice Leeton Pusey upheld the non prosecution, which means the case is still open if they find. Uh, more find a witness or find evidence it's a conditional null prosequi right here that's what it means the group was charged with the murder of alleged gangster Patrick Davis in 2018 and also for being a member of a criminal organization the Cokes are re related to the drug lord Christopher Dulles Coke in the United States prison Andrew and Lester are his brother and Michael is Dudu's son. So, wow. So now that the Cokes are out and out for, I wonder what's gonna happen. I hope they, they move in the right direction because obviously you can see these two entities have a lot of supporters and a lot of people backing them. 
So, yeah, I, the the security uh, forces and stuff like that have to really rethink their strategy in fighting crime. Gotta run them down, shoot them up. I don't think that's working. Take it and let us sip off my beer. Yeah. So, pretty much, this is what it's saying. Quote, we love the whole seven of them. All of them is innocent. But listen, what's going on because they name Coke? So pretty much, that's what somebody shout out. Then you had another person said, but what for you is for you. No man can take it. God loves them. See the blessing. Here's the rain, yeah? The rain of fall. <laughs> wow. The seven should have been freed from Wednesday, but the judge had intervened, stating that he wanted to ensure any conditional constitutional provision exercised in court are used in a manner that was fair. The other day I went through the Jamaican Constitution and uh, it, the document to me, it's just a plain document. It, uh, it lacks teeth and it, it needs to be rewritten, so. Anyways, I'm moving on. It says right here, it says the DDP, Director of Public Prosecution, on a section 94 of the Jamaican Constitution, I'm going to have to look that up, section 94, is empowered to institute, take over, or discontinue a criminal prosecution. In the exercise of the power, conferred upon him or this selection, DDP shall not subject to direct and control of any person of authority, blah blah blah, the constitution stipulated. Consequently, when the matter is mentioned, there is a justice after emphasizing that it was consonant, blah blah blah, opposed to end the prosecution of any time. He over one alleged offenders that charges could be revived. If if the prosecutor finds enough evidence. So, yeah, so that's where it's at. So, 